whether you call it drifting, power sliding, or just plain showing off, learning how to hold a car sideways teaches you a lot about car control. Master it and you'll learn how to fine tune your throttle control, feel for grip, and predict weight transfer. And that makes you a better driver and one that's more capable of taking a car to its limit. So today we're gonna to show you how it's done. The new BMW M3 is perfect for the task. There's a four litre V8 up front, over 400 brake horsepower going to the rear wheels and a limited slip differential to put all that power down. It's best to practice with a cheap car for obvious reasons and the Nissan 200SX and the early BMW 325i Sport are both popular options. And once you've got the car you'll need a safe place to practice and here Teesside Autodrome is perfect. There's a good mix of fast and slow corners, plenty of runoff and no one to complain about all the noise you're making. So let's see how it's done. The key is to let the car flow rather than fighting it. So allow the wheel to slip through your fingers, slowing it to guide the car in the right direction. The throttle does a lot of steering too, so you'll need big inputs to start slides and extend them, but lighter inputs to settle the car down in between. Just listen to the engine note to get a better idea. So that's me, but to prove that any novice can do it, we've brought our own editor along, Phil McNamara. Hey Ben, how you doing? Hi Phil. Well, you're, I'm here today for you to teach me how to drift, and the only drifting I've ever done is on some lilo in the Mediterranean, so give me the tips, basically. Okay, well, that won't be a problem, we'll get you going today. Um, what we're going to start you off with is the simplest technique. There's a few different ones, but this is called power over. Mm -hmm. Just want you to go nice and deep into the corner, turn in at the apex, and then just put the throttle down nice and confidently. As you do that, the back will step out and you'll feel the wheel spin through your hands. Just let it do that. Grab it when you're pointing where you want to go. Give it a feather on the throttle. Okay. And then you'll drive off and you'll look like a hero. Sounds simple. Let's give it a try. So, go... Yeah, go so, right over the So I'll be coming right over here, yeah. And I and want to just turn go in. quite deep. Yeah, okay. And I'm turning now. And quite hard there and push the throttle at the same time. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah. And then hopefully it'll go. And I'll just fa and then I'll let go of the wheel and just yeah. balance it on the throttle. Yeah. Yeah. Should be a double. <laughs> <laughs> Turn in, accelerate. Stop accelerating. That's it. Stop, 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 stop. stop. Look out, stop. <laughs> that was quite good. Okay. Okay. Yeah, well, stop, 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 stop. I think we might have got away with that. <laughs> Put it into seconds. Put it into, Put it into seconds. We certainly did get away with it. The M3 was unharmed, unlike the undergrowth and my confidence. So I handed the keys back to Ben, the expert. I can't wait for my next shot of drifting but it will be on a track for safety's sake. 